boys and girls, welcome back. I'm so glad you joined us this week. Last week, we heard about how Jesus fed 5,000 people with just a few loaves of bread and some fish. This week, we're going to hear how Jesus can feed us forever. Let's begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For our sorry prayer today, I'll say the words and then you say the words. Dear Lord, forgive me when I so often get things wrong. Give me a pure heart and fill it with your love. Help me not to look back, but to turn toward the light of your goodness. Amen. All right, for the gospel today, I'm going to be reading to you from the book of John. The people saw that Jesus and his followers were not there now. So they got into boats and they went to find Jesus. The people found Jesus on the other side of the lake and they asked him, Teacher, when did you come here? Jesus answered, Are you looking for me because you saw me do miracles? No. I tell you the truth, you are looking for me because you ate the bread and you were satisfied. Earthly food will spoil and ruin, so don't work to get that kind of food, but work to get the food that stays good always and gives you eternal life. The Son of Man will give you that food. God the Father has shown that he is with the Son of Man. The people asked Jesus, what are these things that God wants us to do? And Jesus answered, The work God wants you to do is this, to believe in the one that God sent. So the people asked, What miracle will you do? If we can see a miracle, then we'll believe in you. What will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna in the desert. That is written in the scriptures. God gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said, I tell you the truth. Moses was not the one who gave you bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. God's bread is the one who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. The people said, Give us this bread always. Then Jesus said, I am the bread that gives life. He who comes to me will never be hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. So today we hear about manna, and we've heard about that word manna before in our uh, Bible stories that we've read together. And do you know what manna is? The word manna actually means, what is it? The people saw this whitish, yellowish, fluffy stuff growing in the desert, and they didn't know what it was, and it looked so strange to them, so they called it manna, or what is it? The Israelites were in the desert for a long, long time. We read about them. And they were in the desert, and they were looking for food, and they were hungry, and they were there for 40 years. And they couldn't find food to eat, and so God brought them this whitish, yellowish, fluffy stuff that they called manna. And it was really actually seeds inside of there that they would grind up and make bread, or sort of like pancake-like things. And so Jesus talks about the manna from heaven again today. So God gave his people manna from heaven when they were in the desert. And then Jesus talks to the people about getting this bread of life that will fill them up forever. They'll never be hungry and they'll never be thirsty. And they think, yeah, we want this bread. And then this sounds kind of weird, but who is that bread? Who gives us life forever and who never will we be hungry or thirsty if we follow? Jesus. Jesus is the bread of life. And that's why every week at communion we have bread and wine, just like Jesus did at the Last Supper. He is the one who will fill us up. We don't need game cubes and Xboxes and fancy rollerblades and we don't need to be going on the fanciest vacations. Jesus tells us we don't need those things of earth, we need the things of heaven, and that's Jesus. So if we believe in Jesus and we follow what he wants us to do, 
We'll never be hungry and we'll never be thirsty. And that means we'll have everything we need. Everything that we ever could need is all in Jesus. So if we follow Jesus, then we'll have everything we could ever want or need and we'll be happy and full and satisfied. For the activity today, I have attached a coloring sheet of Jesus telling us he's the bread of life. So you can color that and hang that up to remind you that Jesus is the bread of life. And with him, you'll have everything you need. Now let's say our creed together where we talk about how we believe in Jesus. I'll say the words and then you say the words. We believe in God the Father who made the whole world. We believe in Jesus the Son who died on the cross for us and rose from the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit who brings life and love to us all. We believe that the church is one family and that one day we will share everlasting life with God in heaven. Amen. And for our closing prayer today, I'll say the words and you can say them with me. Dear Lord, you gave Moses and the Israelites manna to eat in the desert. We ask you today to help all those people who are hungry in our world. Help us to be generous by sharing what we have with others. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I am so glad you joined us today, boys and girls, and I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week, and we'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.